find the area of the green circle. Here's the question. Given this green circle, let's draw a chord. And from this point, let's draw a perpendicular segment like this. And from this segment, let's draw another perpendicular segment. And this chord measures 4 units. This segment measures 6 units. And this segment measures 8 units. Now the problem or the question is what is the area of the circle? So you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this figure, our goal is to find the area of this circle. Alright, so what we're going to do to answer this question is the first thing we need to do is to extend this segment measures 8 units like this. Now, this segment, this chord is not the diameter, alright? It is not given that this segment 8 passed through the center of the circle. Alright, now... What we're going to do here is to use this concept, this theorem. If a diameter of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the diameter bisect the chord and its arc. So the only thing that we can use this is the diameter bisect the chord. Now let's draw the diameter of this circle that is perpendicular to the chord and to the segment like this. Since this chord and this segment measures 8 are parallel, so they are both perpendicular to the diameter of the circle. Now, we will apply this theorem. So this 4, we can break into two pieces, two equal parts, which is 2 and 2. 2 units and 2 units. So this is a rectangle. So this means this measures 2 units also. Since the total segment is 8, then the measure of the bottom part must be equal to 6 units. Now since we have withdraw a chord, therefore the upper part of this chord measures 6 units also. So we have 2, then this yellow segment must be equal to 4 units. So using this theorem, we know that this segment must be equal to 4 units. Alright, next, let's extend this segment measure 6 units. And let's call this as x. Now the question, how do we get the value of x? So we will use the concept of the chord-chord power theorem. So it used when two chords are intersect. Then what we're going to do is to multiply both parts of the chords, then set them equal. So using this theorem, we can say that 6 multiplied by x must be equal to 4 multiplied by 8. So 6 times x must be equal to 4 times 8. Now, 6 times x is 6x, and 4 times 8 is just 32. And so for x, divide both sides by 6. Now 32 is 2 times 16, and 6 is 2 times 3. So we can simplify this as 16 over 3. So we know that the value of this x is just 16 over 3 units. Now, from here, using those informations, we can now find the area of this circle because Using this information, we can now find the radius of the circle. Now, we have two different methods. The first one is we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the radius of the circle. Or we can use this formula for the radius of the circle given two perpendicular chords. So we have 4R squared equals A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. Now, to use the Pythagorean theorem in this question to find the radius of the circle, what we're going to do is to draw the diameter of this circle like this. This is the diameter because we have here a right triangle. So take note, when we have a right triangle inside the circle, the hypotenuse will serve as the diameter of the circle. Alright, and since it is a diameter, this is just 2 times the radius. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we have 2R squared equals 4 squared plus 6 plus 16 over 3 raised to the power of 2. And if we use this, we get something like 2r squared equals 4 squared plus 6 plus 16 over 3 raised to the power of 2. Now 4 squared is simply equal to 16 and 2r raised to the power of 2. This is just 4r squared. 16 plus 16 over 3 raised to the power of 2, we get 1156 over 9. 
na 50 add 16 and 1,156 over 9, then divide it by 4, we get 325 over 9. That is the value of r squared. Now, we don't want r, but we want r squared. So we will see the purpose later on. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, we get the value of this r. Now, how about if we use this formula for the radius of the circle? It says that if we square those four segments, 6, 4, 16 over 3, and 8, then it must be equal to 4 times the square of the radius r. So if we do this, we get 4 r squared equals 4 squared plus 6 squared plus 8 squared plus 16 over 3 is the power of 2. 4 squared is 16, 4 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64, 16 over 3 is the power of 2 is 256 over 9. And if we add 16, 36, 64, 25, 256 over 9, then divide the total in 4 into 4, then we get that r squared is also equal to 325 over 9, of course. Now, using this information, we know the value of r squared. We can now find the area of this circle. Because, take note that the area of the circle must be equal to pi r squared. We want r squared. And we know the value of r squared. This is 325 over 9. So if we replace r squared with 325 over 9, we get that the area of the circle must be equal to 325 pi over 9 square units. And that is the answer to this question. So given this figure, then the area of the circle must be equal to 325 pi all over 9 square units. And as always, we are done.